refrain Never mind, never mind Selwyn Froggett knows the game Never mind, never mind There's excitement in his eyes As he's looking for first prize If the prize is custard pies Never mind You're not even looking. How did you know it was me? Must be the way you silently crept in. <laughs> Fantastic. A pint of cooking and a couple of bags of nuts. Did you see that fella? What fella? There was a fella in here looking for you. Oh, what was he like? A smart fella, curly hair, white teeth. What, what, did, didn't you give a name? Uh, let, uh, something like uh, Anderson. Uh, no, 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 Andrews. Andrews, Anderson. No, uh, didn't he say what he wanted? He just wanted to see the concert secretary. Uh, it's pr probably a turn looking for a booking. <laughs> they, they ring me up all the time, you know, never let me... Uh, I, but I, I never book an act now unseen. Not since I had them strippers I thought were jugglers. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a turn, Selwyn. He bought me a drink. He had a red uh, ford under his arm. It was something to do with broadcasting. Broadcasting? Broadcasting, telly, radio. Like the Archers, the weather forecast, Reginald Bolson, Ket, and This Is Your Life. Uh, you'd have to tell me about telly. I watch it all the time, don't I? Not those programmes, like, you know, I only watch The Clash, you know, like on, 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 on BBC Two. Yeah, it's fantastic. I watch uh, things like um, Open University. That, that's good, that. And, uh, and uh, what's that? Other? Mastermind and, and Arthur Negus. And, <laughs> <laughs> this Is Your Life? Pardon? You, you, you said this is your life, and you said that fellow looking for me, he said he was smart, got curly hair, nice teeth, red book, called himself Andrews. Well, what about it? Hey, man, Andrews, this is my life. <laughs> of course, Selwyn, I see what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you know where he went? I told him he might find you at home. I'll dig in a big hole somewhere. Right. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you in a minute. I'll take these in my life. Not say, hey, this is your life. Fantastic. <laughs> Selwyn's got a brand new dream. Never mind, oh, never mind. Building up a head of steam. Never mind, oh, never mind. It isn't that he's thick, he's just a shaky quick. To grab the wrong end of the stick. Never mind, no. Bringing me washing in, Selwyn. <laughs> has, 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 has there been a fellow looking for me, Mum? Yes. Uh, what did he want? Did he say? Well, just a minute now. Let me think. Um, Charlie Robinson. Ch Charlie Robinson. That's right. But Charlie Robinson don't even sound like Eamon Andrews. <laughs> I know. That's a daft thing to say, Selwyn. Now, just a, it was sometime last week. Uh, something about a darts match. Oh, oh no, I know about that. That, that, that is Charlie Robinson. I mean, I mean, has, has there been a fellow here today you, with a, from the telly light with a red book? A red book. What's his name, this fella? I'm, I'm, I'm not supposed to know anything about it. Well, I can't be expected to know him if you don't know him yourself. Well, you, you, you'd know him if you if you saw him, even though you haven't seen him. But you must have seen him sometime. <laughs> in the telly, you said. Yeah. Oh, no, there's been no one here from the telly, not since the tube went. <laughs> you, you, you're not going to tell me, are you, Mum? No, not even if I knew what you were talking about. <laughs> well, if, 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 if you won't tell me, I can't tell you, because in any case, I'm not supposed to know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a nut? I think I've already got one. <laughs> 
Hey, what's up with Stelvin? I've just seen him running down the street like they clap us. With a bit of luck, he'll keep going. He was going to see if this fella had been to see him. Oh, what fella? Well, actually, some broadcasting fella. I know all about that. Oh, you would, wouldn't you? Well, it's his producer from Radio North. He wants to do a quiz. I've had a letter from him. Tell him he's got some idea. It's Eamon Andrews, and he's going to be on This Is Your Life. <laughs> he does He does <laughs> <laughs> Now, there's a funny thought. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Clive? Oh, just thinking about Selwyn, thinking that he's going to be on This Is Your Life. <laughs> what a horrible thought. Him being on it, that is a horrible thought. Him thinking that he's going to be on it, that's quite an amusing thought. Highly amusing. <laughs> Mind you, it would be a bit mean and nasty to let him think that, wouldn't it? Oh, well, that's what I find so attractive, <laughs> Mr. Chen. My God, how are you going to feel? <laughs> All right then, Selwyn. Hey, uh, are you uh, feeling nervous? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> Find the cooking, please, Raymond. Hey, what, what are they on about? No idea, Selwyn. <laughs> Has that fella been back? But what fella? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Selwyn. Da, 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 da. <laughs> what are you shushing me for? Is there something you don't want me to talk about? Selwyn Frog at this. <laughs> Hey, you come out with it nearly then, didn't you? I, I knew somebody would have to. That just proves it. Well, hey. I was only going to say this is your chance to find out what, well, what special friends that you have got. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised they're going to do me. I mean, I mean, they, they, don't, they don't always just have famous stars, you know, like 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 film stars and, and, and pop singers. I mean, sometimes sometimes they have unsung heroes. I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I don't worry, because I, because I understand. Oh, we are delighted that you understand, so Ed. No, no, I, I, I know, honestly, I know why you can't say anything. <laughs> No, I do. I know, I know why Raymond can't say anything. <laughs> and I, I know that's why this morning my mum couldn't say anything. <laughs> no, because I know you, you're, all, you're all sworn to secrecy, aren't you? You know, it's like, um, I mean, I understand. It, it's, it's, you, you sort of, you, I appreciate it as well, I mean, really. Because, I mean, you're looking after me, because if you told me, it, it'd spoil it. it? <laughs> so it's, it's best, really, if we, if we don't say any more about it, isn't it? I wonder how they'll do it. Do what? Well, I, w I wonder how they'll catch me. I wonder if they catch me at work. I, I bet they'll hide in one of those big sewer pipes down in the yard. <laughs> hey, you might hide in your saddlebag. <laughs> or behind the one I'm bound in. <laughs> hey, I'll be able to see him. He's a big fellow, you know. He, no, he's he, he were a heavyweight boxer. Hey, you could challenge him. Fifteen rounds. Yeah, after the big event. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I read afterwards they have, they have a fantastic party and it's everything's free. There was an article about it in the Times. <laughs> I wonder when they'll do it. Oh, Selwyn, I forgot this, it was for you. It was addressed to me, but it's for the concert secretary. Hey, it, it's from Radio North. Ah, oh, wonderful Radio North. Your favourite station. <laughs> Have you noticed? <laughs> Whenever anybody requests a record on Radio North, they always play I Left My Heart in San Francisco. That's the only record they've got. <laughs> Hey, hey, listen to this. They're, they're having a sports quiz, a knockout competition between all the clubs in the area. We, we, we've got to pick a team of four. Oh, well, you have to organise an elimination contest, Selwyn. Hey, it says here each member of the team gets a £2 fee. That's the team pick, then. Us three and you, Selwyn. Show of hands, unanimously. <laughs> hey, Selwyn didn't vote. It's unanimous, apart from him. <laughs> hey, hey, you realise what this means, though, don't you? This means I'm going to be on twice in one week. One, once, once on the radio and once on... But I don't know who about that, do I? <laughs> hey, this is great, this. I better get down home. I've got to practice crying my eyes out. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> what team won the World Cup in 1923? It's a good one, that, isn't it? I beg your pardon. <laughs> when did Gordon Richards win his first derby, the year, the name of the horse, and starting price? Hey, I wonder if they'll fly him from New Zealand. Oh, Gordon Richards. <laughs> what are you going on about? Uh, don't crack on you don't know anything about it, Alma. They, they must have had a word with you. Nobody's had a word with me about anything. 
<laughs> da, 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 da. You never were any good at telling lies, are Morris? Now, let's go back to the beginning, shall we, and start with Gordon Richards. Right, come over here a minute, I'll show you something. Oh. Come on, come on, come sit down here, Armouris. Look, look, here's a letter I've had from Radio North, all right? Yeah. And what they've said is that they want to do a, a sports quiz at the club, right? That, that's what I'm doing here. I'm sorting out some questions. I've nearly understood all that. <laughs> right, now then, look what they say in the letter. Look, they say here, there's a sports quiz there, and they say here, look, they're sending a researcher. Right, round to the club at seven o'clock for a dummy run so he can see us and assess our potential. Well, that shouldn't take long, should it? <laughs> well, right. Now then, look here. TV Times. What's on Wednesday night, seven o'clock? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm going to remind him he owes me half a crown. Who does? Uncle Albert. <laughs> Half a crown is now twelve and a half p. Ah, well, when he borrowed it, it was half a crown. <laughs> so, so when they say, here he comes all the way from New Zealand, you know, Uncle Albert, I'm going to say, where's me half a dollar? That's a get big luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, boy. Hey, Maurice, I mean, I mean they've, they've had lighthouse keepers and firemen and everything, but they've never had a concert secretary on the show before, have they? What show are you talking about? Very good. <laughs> It's fantastic, you're doing it great, you are. Hey, hey, Morris, you, you, know, you know when you come on, I bet you do. You bet I do what? I bet you cry your eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.